Jeremy Katie is here representing Shane Scholler, who is seeking uh, the office of Secretary of State. I'll try to keep this short because I know I know I don't want to get between you and your food. So, um, my name is Jeremy Katie. I work. Uh, I'm the chief of staff for the Speaker Pro Tem of the Missouri House of Representatives. And uh, real quick, I want to take a real a real fast survey, quick poll. How many people have an ID in their wallet, pocket, purse? Raise your hands. Can I see your hands. Okay, so quite a few of you. How many people think it's a common sense approach that we ask? that someone show their ID whenever they pick up a ballot so that way we know someone is who they say they are when they go to vote. Raise your hands again. Excellent. My boss just let you know two weeks ago passed out of the house 101 votes to 54 uh, voter ID bill and sent it over to the Senate. So he, that's something that he believes in firmly is uh, fighting voter fraud. Again, my name is Jeremy. I work for Shane Scholler. And uh, in my position, I work very closely with Shane, and I've gotten to know him very well. I've gotten to know his family. Shane and his wife, Mindy, they have three children. Alan turned eight uh, two weeks ago. Uh, little Dorothy, she's got the uh, puppy eye look down pat. You can give her anything she wants. Uh, little Johnny, if you take a look at him on the, on, the back of the, uh, on the back of the palm card there, Yes, he is only two years old, and I guarantee you he will be a fullback someday. He's a big boy. Uh, I've got to know Shane's history. Uh, Shane graduated from Branson High School in 1990. He graduated from Southwestern Baptist University with a degree in political science. He's worked for Scythe. He's worked for the Home Builders Association. He's worked for then U.S. Senators John Ashcroft and Kit Vaughn. He's worked for then Congressman uh, Roy Blunt when he was Congressman of the 7th Congressional District. And he's also worked for then Secretary of State Matt Blunt. In fact, Shane Schuller is the only candidate in this race that has real working experience in the Secretary of State's office. Now, more importantly, I've also gotten to know Shane's character. Shane is a man of integrity, he's a man of principle, and he's fair. And that is important because I don't know of another time that ballot language has been written so deceivingly that's been thrown out by the courts. But that's happened under our current Secretary of State. There's a lot of voters, whenever they go and they vote and they pick up a ballot, all they know about an initiative is what they see and read right there on that ballot. And we have to make sure that what they read is what they're voting on. Because those are laws. Those are possibly constitutional amendments that we're voting on. And that's, those are laws that you have to live under, that your children have to live under, that your grandchildren have to live under. And so we need to ensure that we elect a Secretary of State that's going to put the duties of the office above their own personal agendas. I support Shane Scholler because he is a man of integrity, because he is a man of principle, because he is fair. I support him because not only will he protect your right to vote, but he will, uh, he will protect your vote from being diluted by fraud, and he will also defend what is sacred. That is our election process. I support Shane Scholler, and I ask, I ask for you to join me in that support, and I ask for your vote for him on August 7th. Thank you very much. <laughs> 